Welcome folks, welcome to Papillon. It is shocking today, we're going to have a blizzard. I had a bit of a blizzard coming up. Um, it's a bit treacherous, I am standing on solid ice. So um, I've driven as far as I can, so I'm going to walk down this... <laughs> Whoop. Whoop. My legs nearly went. <laughs> um, so I'm going to walk down this way and find our gifting gifting area um, the usual gifting area that I'm in uh, I can't get access to that that's just sheet ice and you have a steep hill which commits you so let's head off let's see how we get on <laughs> okay I've come into this area of the forest and I've never really shown you this little part here but I will show you so if you imagine these trees here, do you think they have any form or shape? I don't think that this is coincidental. You see? I've got to be careful where I'm standing because you get tree roots and they can just be hollow. So. There we are. Let's see if we can get this one sideways on. There we go, get an idea. There's something with an organised shape like this, where we have clear right angles. Clear right angles, like this. And then I'm just going to turn around. Just got to be watching where I put my feet. <laughs> so we've got a right angle bending to the left. And look what is right in the middle of that right angle. Can you see that? Now I don't think that that's really coincidental. I've, I've said before I think there's something in this with cones. And then look what's directly behind this one. See so if I duck below that. See that? Directly behind it. Isn't it interesting how all these things just seem to appear? I have tried using a compass on all of this and I, I get nothing. I don't get any diversion in, in uh, the points of the compass. But this is busy, busy, busy. Like I say, we're back to the right angles here again. Uh, I think you'll have seen on other channels, they have this Union Jack sort of shape. It is fothark of a kind. It really is. So I'm just going to do a sweep from where I'm standing and see... Whoops, I'm falling down a hole. <laughs> this is a tree, tree root I'm standing on. You just can't tell whether the ground is solid below your feet. Oops, falling down another one. Goodness me, this is becoming embarrassing. <laughs> so, if we take a, a sweep around here, if I just move to my left here, see all this 
busyness on the ground. That's not by accident. That's not trees just falling over. Somebody is clearly doing that and you need hands to do all of this stuff. <laughs> and as I say that, well, there's plenty of hands here. That's what I'm hearing. So if I make my way through here, it is snowing actually, trying to snow. It's very, very fine snow, which is usually the stuff that, that lies. So there's a boxy shape there. See that? Very boxy shape. That's my backpack over there, you can see. Interesting that there was a cone in the bend of that. They keep showing us all of this stuff and I am keep drawn to it and I know there's something in it but I just can't get to the bottom of it and they're not going to give us the answers. I think we have to work on it. We have to come up with it. Or it's been laid, the ground has been laid for something future. Maybe they're future proofing us. So I'm still doing a 360 and then you get these kind of things, trees or angles. If that was just by itself I would totally ignore that tree like that, I wouldn't take any notice. But when you start to look around and see this, I mean can you tell me, anybody, can you tell me what is natural about that? Nothing. Nothing, nothing at all. It's definitely a design. It's designed. So, um, I'm going to head down here. This is the direction where we go. Um, I'm going to have to place my feet more carefully because the ground is so soft in place. What happens is this. See where the trees are here. That tree is probably about an 18 inch diameter. But what happens is at the bottom you get these holes and that is all hollow. If I, I'm not going to do it, but if I put my foot on there, that will be hollow and I'll go right through. Okay, let's get going. Okay, just a, a quick thought here. I was asking about, we have a very cold spell. We've just had uh, minus 11 caught last night and the road, the roads were like glass. Um, they were just almost undrivable uh, because uh, the air is gradually warming up we're going to have a very warm spell come in and as it warms up it melts it melts the cold the cold rain and as that rain falls onto a frozen surface it's just freezing again so we're getting this skating rink effect um, So, I asked, what about the people? Do they, do they have some form of hibernation? And not in the way we would think about hibernation. I don't believe that's the case. But they have no need only to go out for food. So they sequester themselves in an area that is safe and dry, it may be in a nest, but I think nests are more for summer. I think they're more likely to be in a cave system or an alcove of rocks out of <laughs> the public gaze. Um, but I don't get the sense, I'm asking this question, I do not get the sense that they need, in the way we do, we feed every day. I don't think they need to feed every day. When it, the weather is as bad as it is and access becomes as bad as it does, bad enough for me walking, equally bad for them. It's one of our bags. Oops. She says falling through a hole. Um, so I don't think they need to feed in the same way. I think that they stock up. 
I think they can have a good feed for a couple of days, a few days, and then they go from there. I believe that's the case. I don't know if that makes sense to you. For those of you that put food out, that uh, gift, and it's just a token. I mean, they're not going to live off what you give them. It's merely a token. Uh, because they will, I'm sure, from what I understand, they're relying on foodstuffs which are very, very good for them. Stuff that have fats in, energy, nutrition, if it's available. So I think that's what the, I kind of think that's what the situation is here. So they may well be hunkered down and they may just go out if they have to go out rather than going out for the sake of it. I mean they must be aware also that they're leaving prints and if you are near human, some form of human uh, place where there's humans living. You, you got to protect yourself. Empty mackerel tin. Yes, I'm not going to wear that scent. Oh, if I get that on my hands, it's proper stinky. And empty bags. Empty apple bags. Oh, everything's sticking to the ground because it's frozen to the ground. But everything else is gone. All the other foodstuffs. Now where has, where has the peanut butter jar gone? Nowhere to be seen. Can't see any other debris anywhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that same location here and we'll replenish we'll replenish everything okay well first of all I have got some of this some uh, peanut butter this is um, it's supposedly got no added sugar they'll probably hate it they probably love sugar um, so I'm going to stick that, I'll just untwist that, I'm going to stick that, I'll lay, I'll lay it flat like that, I'll lay it flat. It's not going to fall over then if we get a, a high wind, so you can just see that tucked over there. But interesting to note that this stick coming down here, this one here, is a Y stick, just thought you might like to know. So we've got some, some walnuts here pop those up on there. Then I've got some some apricots. Natural sugar. Some cashew nuts. Pop those just up behind it. We could try something else this week. We could actually try burying the peanut butter. <laughs> under under these these are pecans in fact i think we, we will do that pop those like that so it's slightly hidden and then christmas is here it's christmas this is christmas week and as a little very very european style gift i thought we'd do this this is stollen cake uh, very german norwegian scandinavian they all do this cake so I'm going to leave this up here as well. And I've sliced that up so everybody can have some. Um, I've also got some of the incense sticks, which I will try to light. I did fill up the lighter, but who knows whether it's going to light or not. So what I'm doing is I'm just making sure that they, they catch a light here. 
Alrighty. I have no idea how I'm going to stick these in the ground. Not so easily. <laughs> It's a bit hard, the ground. Somebody asked me why on earth I did this. It's just because I feel like it. <laughs> That's the answer. It's, I felt like it. That's why. <laughs> I've just started to do it. Start off. Carry on as I mean to go on. So I've also got some apples. So I'm just having a look to see where best to hang the apples. I've got the most important thing, coffee. Once I've got coffee, my, I'm all right. I'm all right, Jack, as they say. Okay, so everything in my world is good. I have my coffee. We have these lovely, lovely apples. Aren't they gorgeous? Then the pecans, walnuts, apricots, stolen, and cashews and underneath it all is the peanut butter so they've kind of got to dig a little bit for that and I don't think that will be an obstacle whatsoever. So, um, I'll do a bit of clearing up. I'll take all of this stuff away, empty bags take the nets down. I cannot see any other evidence where I can't even see which direction they've gone in. Or which direction they may have taken the food in because usually they discard as they eat. I actually think they have just taken off Although, what's this up here? Oops. What is this? Ah. Oh. I lie. I have to be careful where I'm putting my feet. This is the direction that they go in. Now there is a big steep ravine just the other side of those trees there. It's not deep, but it's quite steep. And there is where they take Oof. that's a mess that's where they must head in direction there's an apple bag or a mango bag pick that up as well they head in this direction folks this is the direction they go look here look here just a block of useless ice. Now look at this. Look at this. Uh, I'm going to just put my little pile of bags I picked up there. I'm going to step back and just let you have a look at that. So we're above there's frozen water in there. That should be trickling but there isn't. It isn't running because it's frozen. Right in the middle of that is a bag, but isn't that interesting that that should be such a dingly dell with the Y stick lying across it. Oh wow, look at this. And an empty bag. in the middle of it. I can't smell anything, there's no smell, but oh look, 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 look. Look here. This is just the other side. I can't really, shouldn't be standing underneath this. I'll just show you what I am standing underneath. Just so you know. <laughs> if you hear, if you hear a little, uh, ow, the tree's probably fallen on my head. See this? The Union Jack shape again. Star. Star shape. That's a wheel. That's the wheel, isn't it? That's the wheel. What I'll do when I go home is 
<coughs> I'll have a closer look at that shape and see if we can see if we can determine anything else from it. So this is the direction that they come in to sit underneath here and you just wouldn't see them. You wouldn't see anybody here. Over here is where I've left where I've left my backpack and that's our gifting area. You can just see it through the gap. Okay so we are about 20 yards 20 yards away from that. Pick all this clutch up. Oh god, it's monkey. <laughs> but I can't see I can't see any other debris left. Oh, another another bag. How interesting. I missed that coming through. Is that more there? It is. Oh, absolutely frozen. Frozen solid. This interests me. This really interests me. I'm going to show you this. Right beside that bag that I have just picked up. Look at that. Do you think that's deliberate? I do. Because that upside down V shape of this tree, this is this one here I'm looking at. Let's see if I can show it better. It's only about waist high here. Snapped. And This is interesting. We're right in the middle of something here. Uh, look up to my left here. We've got this leaner coming up here. I'm going to turn around 45 degrees. We've got this leaner here. Right up here. Uh, as I'm talking I can hear portal, portal, portal. Okay. Then we've got really. We've got this here, up to there. Remember me talking about the weaving? So this one with the greeny mossy bottom comes up behind this stick and then broken over another one. So there's bits of weaving here. These are three dimensional shapes. So we're still in the middle of this area. We've got this little thing in the middle that I pointed out before, like a tripod, right beside that tripod is another 45 degree here, and somebody asked me if I feel funny when I walk in, in these um, portals. No, I don't, don't feel funny at all. Um, no, no, no sense of anything. Uh, look at these. Are these ordered? So we've got a horizontal right across the middle. Then right in the middle we've got like a back, like a Z shape. Or if you looked at it the another way it would be an N shape. Oh, try not to spill my coffee. Oh, look at that. This X shape here and that fell, whatever that was, fell directly behind me. Where was that? What did cones? Oh, that could have come off a tree. Could have come off a tree, folks. I'm gonna make our my way back to our little gifting site. Oh look at this. Yeah, another bag. I don't leave that many bags lying around here. I wonder if, if they've gathered them from other places 
and they bring them here because these red nets they only usually bring two or three a week don't they and we've still got two attached to this tree here all right okay just before I go just to say um, it's a bit miserable here now the weather is miserable it's grey and I had a day, oh, it was about a month ago, six weeks ago, where I came up the M6 um, through the north west of England and into the Lake District. And I took a diversion through the Lake District and I did show you one piece of footage. Well, this is another piece of footage. I'll ta tag on to the end of this video just to give you a little bit of joy. Okay. So. Okay, friends. It is... Um, getting warmer it's raw but you can see the and feel the air is getting slightly warmer so it might even be above freezing so from here at Papillon I'm going to say thank you everybody I'm going to wish you all a really really happy Christmas and I hope you have a fantastic time uh, I know you guys in the States say happy holidays. Well, happy holidays. Over here we say happy Christmas. So, both. Happy whatever. Um, just I hope you have a fantastic time with your family. Um, and with, if you're lucky enough, these families here too. And uh, I hope all is well. Um, I think what they're doing at the moment is they are trying to rebalance what's coming. And we don't know what's coming. They do. They can feel the energy. And so I think that they're doing is trying to rebalance that. Um, what they are showing us in very many different ways, certainly at the moment, I, I am feeling that they're showing us layers. That seems to be the focus, is the many different layers. So we're looking at time now as being 2022, stepping into 2023. It doesn't matter to them. What year, it doesn't matter. And I don't think that they are governed by that. They are governed by the passage, the passage of the stars, the cosmos, everything. The passage of the universe. They listen to the universe. We listen to media. Anyway, I hope you have a fantastic time. And from here at Moonmoth, enjoy your mince pies. Yay! Bye!